In this screencast, we'll get a quick introduction to SimpleCov, a great Ruby tool for measuring the C0 coverage of your Rails applications. Now I've got the author's homepage. All I did was search for SimpleCov and I got the first hit. It's a homepage on GitHub. And like most GitHub projects, the author has some instructions on how to install and configure this Ruby gem. We just add it to our gem file as we have done before. We'll run bundle install to make sure the gem is uh, properly installed. Uh, the only difference between this and some gems we've done before is this require false, which you can see I've added to my gem file here. This is just a way of saying that the gem isn't required while the app is actually running, but it's required as a whole in our test and development environment. So while the app is running, it doesn't really matter if coverage is being collected. That's all that means. The author also tells us that we need to add the very these two lines to the very top of our spec helper file. So I've opened up the spec helper file over here and just as the author has directed I've added these two lines pretty much copied straight from his GitHub page. So with that in mind I'm going to run my tests rake spec is a simple task that runs a single pass through all of your unit tests. It's uh, a little faster than running auto test in this case. Now our test coverage stats are going to be a little bogus because we haven't really written very many tests. Uh, a lot of them are not implemented, but the goal is just to understand how this tool works and how you use it. So we've now run our three specs, not a whole lot here. And we can take a look in our application's home directory and see that there's a new directory here called coverage. SimpleCov created that directory. So let's go ahead and open up in our browser. We can open the index.html file at the top level of that directory. And we've got this very nicely formatted report of all the different files in our project. We could also break it down by just the controllers or adjust the models and so forth. For each file, we see what percentage of the statements in that file were covered at the C0 level and the number of times on average that each of those statements was executed by our test suite. Uh, in fact, we can actually zoom in to individual files. Notice that some of these numbers are red, meaning very low coverage. You need more tests. If we click on the name of an individual file, we get a pop-up that shows exactly which lines in red were not executed and how many times the lines in green were executed. So we could actually zoom in on each individual file and figure out which lines of our file don't have sufficient test coverage. Now normally you'd run coverage when you've got a lot of passing specs and, and maybe a few unimplemented ones, but uh, as we showed, anytime you rerun your spec tests, you'll get a brand new coverage report in this beautifully formatted HTML and this is a quick guide not necessarily to tell you that you know 100 percent coverage means that you're on solid ground but to tell you which parts of your app are untested or under tested